Hi guys, this is Brian Myers from Myers Auto Detailing and Customs here in Bicknell, Indiana. Um, I wanted to show you our 2013 Dodge Dart show vehicle um, that's currently traveling the Midwest from show to show. Um, we'll start with the exterior. The first thing you notice is we've changed the headlights out for a black bezel headlight um, that was chrome from the factory. In the front we've replaced both grills with a black billet aluminum grill. Just yesterday in house we wrapped the center section of the front bumper with a black vinyl. As far as the wheels go, they are an 18 inch niche wheel. I don't remember the particular model. Um, as you can see, also yesterday we replaced the brake rotors with slotted and drilled rotors. Um, the back is to come in the coming weeks. On the front we also did a flat black vinyl um, brow as, as well as tinted the windows in 20 percent all the way around. One goofy thing we kind of did with it, um, we used a 50 cal shell for the antenna. Um, on the back you'll see that we added a duckbill spoiler and blacked the tail lights out. This car is also on an AirTech air ride system. Um, it's currently got about 55 pounds in the bags. Uh, here later in the video I'll show you it with it setting it on the ground. The current trunk setup in a Dart um, features a laminate floor that we bought from Lowe's. I think it was $25. We cut it out in-house to fit the base of the trunk. Um, as you'll see, the air tank, compressors, and management system. Um, we also added a curtain in the back to hide the air fittings and lines. As far as under the hood goes, uh, the first thing you'll notice is the MPX um, strut tower brace. Um, as far as engine modifications, we did an MPX catback exhaust with no mufflers, a catless downpipe. Um, TPT or PTP uh, turbo blanket. We did a true engine cold air intake with engine um, charge pipes to match. We swapped it out for a forged wastegate actuator. Also swapped it out for a vacuum operated forged atmospheric blow off valve. Um, as you can see, we've switched some of the um, vacuum lines to blue. Uh, the coils are from an Alpha Romeo 4C. Um, we have an MPX board throttle body. We're also running the Euro Compulsion Euro Plus Drive Stage 2 tune currently. Um, we also did here recently, we done the Euro Compulsion boost leak fix, which uh, usually this port here on the charge pipe runs to the EVAP system, and as you can see, We've blocked it off. Um, the T right here is gone, and we replaced it with a new line from there straight back to the air intake. As far as the inside goes, when you're walking up to the car, the first thing you notice are all the interior lights are switched to a blue LED. Um, we also have a dual gauge pod with boost and air fuel ratio. We also added the edge insight to see a few parameters um, that we couldn't see, obviously, because it's a dual gauge pod, you can only see two. Um, you'll also notice that the gauge bezel is color matched to the blue streak pearl on the outside with a Planet Audio navigation DVD in the dash and Planet Audio speakers in all the doors. Um, down here, we made a custom carbon fiber plate to hold the Airlift 3P management controller. Um, it also has an MPX built shift knob with a short throw shifter. Um, here we'll, we'll drop it down to zero pounds of air and set it on the ground and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay guys, now it has zero pounds in the bags and is setting as low as it goes. Um, as you see, the front does not tuck up in the fender as far as the back does. Some of that, I think, has to do with the fender well shape. 
Um, the front is limited though by the length of the strut. If you guys have any questions, feel free to hit me up on here. I'll be glad to direct you in the direction to find these parts that are currently on this car. Also in the future, be on the lookout. We still have plans for a Hellcat carbon fiber hood as well as a body kit of some sort. Um, also, as soon as Euro Compulsion launches the Phase 3 tune for the Dart, um, we have plans to do a G-Pop turbo upgrade, a BNC cam, water methanol injection, and a larger intercooler.